Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back. I know, a little bit of an odd stream. You guys probably weren't expecting a, a World of Warships Legends live stream tonight. I know I wasn't. I was just wanting to stream something and I'm like, what should I stream? And then I got to thinking, I'm like, well, technically we just passed 20 million views on the channel this month. Total, for the channel's history, we have passed two, 20 million views. That's insane. Who'd have ever thought seven years ago when I started doing this that I would ever get to that point? I would have never guessed. Chris Tran dropping a $5 bomb right out the gate. Thank you so much, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Chris. Also, let's see who's in the chat. We got Yup. We got Mary. We got Aspect. We got... Chris, we got Grant, Ricky, Unknown, Jacob, the World War II enthusiast, Cheeseman, A.A. Ron, A. Bike, Robert, Rogue, Ender, uh, Fat Weed, how's it going? Killer Nick, Unknown Commander, Clee, Scott, Chaos, Joshua, Terminator, oh god, it skipped on me, hold that thought. Hesh God, Scott McCutcheon, oh my God, your, your, your name always throws me off. It's Scott McCutcheon. <laughs> it always catches me every time. Braden, how's it going? Uh, Sahin, good to see you. BM, Abdullah coming in, re-upping their membership for 14 months. Joshua, how's it going? Cheeseman, re-upping for four months. Michael, how's it going? Uh, Rich, sloppy, homicidal. Gaming Panda, Lee, Forsaken, Chaotic, Drew, Benjamin, I think I already called out, Bryce, Ricky, how's it going? Ricky coming in, re-upping the membership for 10 months. Bry, VDM, Gino, Liam, Joshua, Andrew, Cursed, King Swag, Water Draw, Romeo, Ave, Kirsty, Phil, Aspect dropping a 99 cent dono, first ever dono on YouTube. Thank you so much. Buster, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm running out of new people. Trent, and Reflexian. All right, let's get this party started. I'm caught up. Let's go get some goats in the chat for all the folks who've already dumped their membership re-ups and their, their, uh, their first ever donos and everything. Like you guys are fantastic. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Almost seven years we've been doing World of Warships. Well, I say World of Warships. Almost seven years we've been uploading to YouTube. Started out on World of Tanks, if you guys remember, World of Tanks console. And, uh, we've moved over to World of Warships about four years ago. And uh, we've been enjoying life ever since. Like, it's been it's been crazy. It, it has been actually crazy. So thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are insane. And I love you guys. And I do mean that. I, I do truly thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for everything that you guys have done for me. Like, legitimately. Well, that's not good. We don't have the Yolo Emilio. We don't have the Cuniberti. We don't have the Graf Zeppelin, so uh, we're kind of stuck. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Good thing I don't need to speed this up anytime soon. Anyway, uh, what are we doing, Spartan? Let's go to the office and get our free crate. Free crate! Oh yes! Let's go! Free crates for everybody. Alright, let's go. We already played ranked. We're done with that, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go standard. Let's go to tier 5 and start out with up on Adam, Arizona. You guys know the deal. Bunk. Oh, wait. We, we gotta do something. I know. I know y'all are about as, as tired of it as I am, so we gotta we got pull Popeye off this, this fucking thing. Like, I, it's, it's funny for a little while, but it has gotten old quick. So, uh, Popeye, you're gone. Who else do we got? We got Boju the Blacksmith. Wilco. 
Many thanks. We've got High Sorcerer Baradun. I need intelligence data. That's kind of cool. I think I'm gonna go with that guy. We'll check out some of the others. Set a smoke screen. Not that guy. That guy's annoying as fuck. Next. Oh, we're using that on another commander. That's fine. I think we go with this guy. He's got kind of a cool voice. We're switching it up. Popeye gets old real quick. But thank you guys so much for joining me for this impromptu stream. We gonna have some time. We we gonna have some fun. Y'all know the deal. Uh, who else we got? We got Chaos. We got YouTube Man. Uh, Sal, how's it going? Exiled. Jacob. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the main event of the evening, fighting out of the blue corner. <laughs> uh, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the, f uh, what would it be, the, uh, the fighting, or no, he's out of the fighting city of Philadelphia. The Italian Stallion, Rocky Balboa! <laughs> Let's go! Why so sleepy? How's it going? Scottish Yamato, good to see you. Greyhound, appreciate you dropping in. Justice, I see you. Uh, let's see what we got. If I miss anybody, Robert, I see you as well. If I miss anybody, I do apologize. Just yell at me. I will try to see. But uh, I do appreciate everybody dropping by. You guys know you outnumber me. So uh, I do try to get as many people shouted out as possible, which is why we always start the stream with a, a rundown of everybody in chat. So thank you guys so much. Christopher Hill, happy birthday, by the way, and welcome. Good to see you, my dude. Long time member on the channel. Enemy more sighted on the horizon. Top G, good to see you. Can we play the West Virginia? We could probably do that. We're going to run through all the fun ships tonight. We're just out here having a good time. We don't have any plans tonight. We're just going to have a good time. Have a little bit of fun. There's nothing wrong with having fun in World of Warships Legends, boys. Don't forget it. The game may not want you to have fun sometimes. Oh, my God. That's all horizontal, so it could be good. We'll take it. Six overpins on a broadside New Mexico at 15 kilometers. Yeah, love to see it. Sometimes I swear that the overpin mechanic is busted. Like, how am I overpinning a New Mexico at 15 kilometers? Oh, Abdullah, coming in with the 10 SAR. Thank you so much. Seven years of hard work. You're not wrong. I wouldn't necessarily call it the hardest work. I'll be honest. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to what I do. Um, I mean, I, I put in consistent work. I will give you that. I am easily the most consistent World of Warships Legends YouTuber. Um, I, I upload every single day, pretty much. Uh, I, I do strive for a minimum of five uploads a week, but I generally have been doing more than that, especially this year. So... Uh, we, we are definitely the most consistent. And they break my gun right as we get the gun loaded. Chung King runs. Gets lucky. Um, but considering what I'm used to doing, which is running like uh, working in factories, working in construction and excavating and driving forklifts and, and working and shipping and receiving and maintenance and mold setting and all that like this is nothing compared to what i'm used to doing like i know how to work and i know what hard work is this ain't it but it's fun and it's enjoyable so i thank you guys so much for everything i really do mutsu you are going to regret that i promise i don't know what your plan is here but this is a bad idea. <laughs> Actually, I know exactly what his plan is. His plan is to freaking torque me. Main but being broadside to Mutsu at this range is just asking to be killed. Torpedoes direct front. We actually missed We're him. Hold below the waterline. We're flooding quickly. All right. 
We need to turn back in here because we know that the Mutsu is going to try to torp us again. We also have the Kamikaze nearby and our fucking Mayhan is- or Farragut was too fucking annoying not to actually kill the little turd that was spotted. I think we're the only one that actually shot him. This guy is so fast in reverse. So fast in reverse. And then of course we get shot by like two shells of HE and it sets a fire. There's the torpedoes, and this torpedoes dummy's gonna to get torped by it. Torpedoes to starboard. Fucking gunboat destroyers not being gunboat destroyers is fucking annoying. We're hold below the waterline. We're flooded. I told you you were gonna regret it. If I do nothing else in this lobby, you die. Oh my god, I'm tired of it! Why do they let these people get away with this shit? There is no excuse for that! There's none! There is no fucking excuse, Wargaming! Stop with the bullshit! Ah! Twice we fire at that broadside motherfucker and twice the shells all just dropped into the water. They let people like this get away with this shit. Like, he's a terrible fucking player! He's reversed in front of me the entire time, fully broadside. Only hope in the world is to torp me. That is it. That's all he's got. He's got one fucking play. Sit broadside and torp. That is it. That's all he knows. And yet the game rewards him for being a fucking moron. That's why I like the PC version. PC version has so many fucking benefits for Battleship players. Like, that shit... That guy dies every time, period. There is no fucking if, and, or but. At that range, that guy would be death struck every fucking time. There is no fucking, ooh, I'm gonna sit here broadside and I'm gonna just watch your shells splash into the water because RNG. Fuck your RNG, Wargaming. Seriously. Stop protecting bad players. Stop it. It's hurting the game. Because these players get away with it. They're like, oh, it worked. It worked. I'll just keep doing it. No! Stop it! Stop protecting them! God darn it! Also, go fuck yourself, Farragut! You tier 4 piece of shit! Literally the best goddamn tier 4 destroyer at the, at the tier! And he just sits in a smoke tree, never once tries to go after the destroyer that's right fucking next to him. There's nobody around him! He just sits in a smoke screen and watches. The guy is spotted, I shoot him, and the guy just watches the guy fucking torp, turn around, go back the other way, torp again. Like, come on, man. Why is it so fucking hard for people to figure out the most basic shit? Now, I understand. These guys are at low tiers. So you're going to expect to have bad players. I get that. But why does the game protect them? Why does the game protect them? Arizona is one of the most accurate battleships at tier 5. It just is. It has a long reload, but it's got very good guns. They're very accurate. We are at spitting distance. I could literally hock a loogie over the bow like fucking any, any fucking ship in the game. Just straight hock a loogie, I'd hit that motherfucker. And you're telling me these naval guns that are meant to shoot miles away can't hit a fucking ship at two kilometers. A broadside battle cruiser at two kilometers. You're talking, I don't even have to, like, zero in the sights. It is just straight aim the fucking gun in the direction you will hit the thing. Oh, but Spartan, the RNG is there because in naval warfare, they were not accurate. You're right. At naval warfare, they weren't accurate. But in naval warfare, we weren't fucking two kilometers, kilometers away from them. <laughs> uh, there's your salt, guys. Action, Love you guys. <laughs> Why do you guys put up with me? Ozzy Beast coming in re-upping for 21 months. Santiago dropping a $10 bomb on me as well. Thank you guys so much, man. Get some goats in the chat. If you have Lion, can you... I don't actually have the Lion, my dude. We can play something similar like um, Vanguard or, or Temeraire or, you know, something like that, Marlboro. Um, if, that, if that would work out for you, but I don't have the Lion. But, but this game is so incredibly frustrating at times. It's like, I just double citadel them with the rear guns. So the game has to make up for that. It's like, no, the front guns will just miss everything because the rear guns just double citadel. That's how RNG works. 
It's got to balance the fact that I just beat the fuck out of him and not allow me to just finish the little turn off. That's RNG. <laughs> That's how that goes. Ah! This game will literally... Like, I, the best part is, like, I'm, like, I'm competitive at anything. Like, I just, I am. Like, I'm super competitive. I get salty at everything. Y'all know the deal. But it is one of those things, like, this game brings out the goddamn salt. Also, what is that drop? Y'all saw the planes fly all the way over the fucking top of me, right? Those planes were nowhere near the front of my ship to land those two bombs all the way up there. That was RNG from his bomb drop just saying and to me in particular fuck you that's all that was that was not a good drop by him that was just fucking bullshit like those planes were so far past me that they would have they should have never hit me with a fucking bomb let alone land two bombs on the bow get a double fire that i'm gonna have to damage con and now i've got a goddamn destroyer right in front of me dropping torps what are the odds that the the destroyer torps back this direction Surely not, right? Like, surely he's going to have Torp in the direction that I was heading. Yeah, there they are. So we're good. Torpedoes direct front. We're fine. Mother trucker, please die. Fire the goddamn guns! Fuck. He got behind the island. If he gets a fire with those little fucking pea shooters, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Worse than that, if this guy gets a goddamn... Okay, he, he torped the other guy. He was say, worse than that, if this guy gets a flood with the next drop, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I am... I'm on... I'm ready to fight somebody tonight. Let's go. That first... That first shot, like, try, not getting the kill on that fucking broadside... Let's... Really? I'm more inclined to believe that we missed the shot at a bow-in battleship at seven kilometers than I am to, to miss the shot on the broadside of a Mutsu at, what, three kilometers? So I'll at least, I'll entertain that idea. <laughs> but this game, this game brings out the worst in you. It really does. Like, it, it will test anybody's patience, I promise. I don't care who anybody is in this game. I don't care how good you are at the game. If there isn't a moment when you're playing this game where you're ready to just punch somebody in the face because the game just fucks you as hard as possible, like, you ain't played the game long enough. <laughs> that is fact. Oh, is that true? You want to shoot at me, you little turtle? I'm worried about the goddamn destroyer that's in front of my face. Hey, he missed his torp, or he missed his drop. I'm gonna get Citadel by this New Mexico. I really am. Like, I'm expecting Citadels here. I'm also expecting the little turd burglar to come rushing around the corner and torp the piss out of me. Which is why I'm turning all the way out and having my guns ready to go. Because I know he's coming. I know he's right the fuck here. I am not an idiot. Oh, wait, no, he went the other way. Why would he go that way? That was unexpected. You're not supposed to do what's unexpected. Speaking of unexpected, I love when I fire my guns and watch them all miss. It's my favorite thing about playing battleships. If my shells actually hit the target, the enemy would die. We can't have that. I don't care. Right now, I am going whole ham up in this bitch. <laughs> Ouch. Fuck you, New Mexico. I've got, I've got other people to shoot. Damn, we overpinned him. I was really hoping that was going to work. Also, how the fuck did this guy die? <laughs> how is this guy dead already? Like, he didn't fight anything. I'm going to assume he got torped. Because he probably just sailed in a straight line. But he didn't have fight shit. I got the New Mexico burning. I took all of his health. I took all of the health off the destroyer. I was fighting the other two battleships. The carrier and the fucking Konigsberg. And somehow, this guy dies first. How? <laughs> How does that work? I will never understand. Also, we got three fires with our secondaries in that fight in the short amount of time that we were alive. Talk about RNG. 
<laughs> I'm just in a good mood tonight. I don't care. I don't I don't care at all. <laughs> you know what it was, guys? I know what it was. We didn't sing the song. That's why we got fucked over. We will rectify that at some point tonight. I promise. Uh, let's go jump up. We'll... Did, did uh, Santiago post which which one he wanted to do? What up, uh, Santiago? How you doing? Uh, out here doing it all. Yeah, you know, we just out here doing things. We out here having fun. I don't care if I win, lose, draw tonight. Tonight's all about having just fun. We celebrating tonight. We celebrating. So we're going to do some stupid shit, and we're going to have fun. I don't care. I'm going to be hyper-aggressive. It's going to be very bad for our health, but we're going to have fun. And that's all that matters. And we're just going to have fun. That you're allowed to have fun playing video games. I know it's crazy, but you are allowed. Scottish Yamato, thank you for re-upping for four months, my dude. Andrew K coming in, dropping his first ever super chat on YouTube. GG, I was the New Mexico. Of course you were, because there's always somebody in chat that ends up fighting me. <laughs> Shocker. Also, you're welcome that I stopped shooting you to try to shoot your other teammates. Otherwise, you would have died. Just want to point that. <laughs> all right let's bring out uh, the closest thing to the uh santiago asked for the lion so the closest thing to the lion i can think of would be the timorer so we go pull out the timorer Woo. boys i'm bringing the energy tonight you guys feeling that i just got back from the gym we did cardio night tonight i did 35 minutes on a treadmill at medium intensity and then i jumped over on the bike and at high intensity for uh 30 minutes we did uh, the bike and uh, I did the vigorous workout which is maintain a um, a heart rate above 140 be beats per minute for the entirety of the duration so for 30 minutes my heart rate never dropped below 140 and so uh, I ended up with uh, eight point some odd miles like 8.6 miles or something maybe it was less than that I don't know it was over eight miles on the bike Plus the 2.7 miles that we did on the treadmill. So we did over 10 miles in cardio tonight. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm pumped. I got all the energy. What up, Ganthaman? How's it going? Michael, Skydog, good to see you guys. Fallen Mouse re-upping for nine months as well. Can we get some goats in the chat for everybody tonight? Everybody's got the energy. Thank you guys so much. Dino is a girl. Okay. Ooh, nice to meet you. Oh, you're the egg. <laughs> Good old autocorrect coming in there. <laughs> Dino Hunter goes, I'm in the egg here, but it actually comes out as I am a girl. Or I'm the A girl. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good old autocorrect. What up, Zachary? How's it going? Toast, good to see you. Um, I appreciate everybody dropping by tonight. We're just going to have a good time. I don't care. I, I really don't care tonight. I, I'm just in a good mood. We're out here. We're going to die. We're going to have a bad time. We're going to have a good time. It don't matter. We're going to have all the fun. I don't care what happens. <laughs> good old autocorrect. I got big old fat sausage fingers, so I know all about autocorrect. That shit pisses me off when I'm trying to type in Discord on my phone. All right, we're gonna fire the AP. We're gonna turn out, hopefully. I forget this ship does not like to turn, so this could be bad for us. This ship does not like to turn. It takes so long to get this ship to turn. Okay, we good. Main is bad at shooting. Hey, he hit us with one. Congrats. Now, it's time to start the barbecue. As only the British can. Wait for it. There's one. <laughs> Plus five pins. This fucking British battleships with with Azure Lane Nelson and Big Seven is disgusting. Did he aim well this time? Eh, not bad. Not bad. He's about to eat some torpedoes on top of the fact that he's burning. So there's that. Bonk. <laughs> he had fun. That's all that matters. That main had fun. Apparently, when you're spotted and you know that there's a destroyer in the cap, you just sail in a straight line and hope for the best, and things will never work out for you. Okay, this guy's coming forward. We're gonna go ahead and fire that over the top of the island and start the barbecue again. We've only gotten one fire so far, so we've had very bad RNG so far. 
Also, these turrets turn so slow. I think I still have the damage record for the Temeraire, unless somebody, uh, unless somebody passed it, finally. But as far as I know, I still have the damage record for this ship. On this map, no less. Oh god, there's a destroyer on the edge. Okay, main should spot the Ruprecht again here. It's the Yugamo. I don't have a shot at Yugamo, unfortunately. If I can get around this island, I might be able to take a shot while this guy's spotted. We got a shot out. I don't know if it's going to be accurate. It was. We hit him. Also, we're being targeted at 10 kilometers away by the Ruprex secondaries. Meanwhile, the battleship right in front of his face is just sitting there. So this guy has manually selected us as the target for his secondaries. Isn't that nice? It's very, very kind of him. I don't really have a good shot at him. I really wish I had uh, AP loaded for this. We did destroy a couple of his tor or one torp tube minimum. And use our first heal. Do get four of them, so might as well use them. Look how slow these turrets traverse. Good lord. AP. We can't assume torpedoes are on their way, whether from the Yugamo or the Ruprecht at this point. Look how slow these turrets are, man. It's fucking pathetic. I swear the goddamn uh, Iron Duke has faster rotating turrets than this. Alright, going back to HE. Mr. Fox, thank you for the $5. Just got the Montana. I've had no luck with it. Any tips? Just watch any of my Montana videos or my path to the, like, I Iowa, any of that. Like, I go over all of the, the strategies that I use. Uh, I tend to be really aggressive in my American battleships. A lot of people don't have a lot of luck with that. So I would say try to keep them. Tr you have to try to get them on a flank and get broadsides. If you're sitting bow in the entire time or shooting at bow in people, you're not going to have as much luck. You got to you gotta make some of your own luck. Of course, he doesn't get spotted until after I fucking can't shoot him. But uh, you gotta you gotta get into those crossfires. Work for them. Right now, this Yamato's probably oh, he's got his guns on the right side. He gets a shot out. He takes about a third of the guy's health. That's beautiful. You love to see it. But yeah, I highly recommend anybody who's struggling with American battleships. I've got like hundreds, and I'm not even being exaggerating here. I have hundreds of videos in American battleships. <laughs> So, highly recommend you guys take a look at any of those. My Path 2 series goes in detail about how I utilize the ships, my builds for the ships. I've recently changed my Montana build to be a little bit more of a meme build with uh, Arthas the Cold uh, as an inspiration. Um, they should have this guy dead. Like, just in case, I'll take a shot. Okay. I was going to say, I shouldn't have to, but I'll take the shot now that I can shoot over the island. But uh, he goes down. There's only three people left. We didn't have to do much in this one, unfortunately, but we did what we had to do. That's what matters. Uh, but yeah, like, the main thing about American battleships is they are the most accurate battleships in the game. It's not even, it's not a question. It's not, you know, it is, they are the most accurate battleships in the game. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're taking full advantage of that accuracy. You want to put yourself in positions where they are taking, they are able to punish the enemy 
for the mistakes that the enemy makes. So you want to be in those crossfires. Create the crossfires. W go where your team doesn't go. So if your team is all flowing one way, flow the opposite direction so that when everybody's fighting your team bow in, you get those beautiful crossfires that I've always talked about. Like those crossfires, you live and die off of crossfires. But you also have to be very aware of what's around you. You got to know where the destroyers are last known or where they would be potentially at. You got to know what they're trying to get you to do. So like all of these things are what you have to consider when you're playing battleships in general, but especially American battleships. But the other thing is everybody likes to talk about American battleships are not like tanky, but that's just not true. If you play an American battleship well, especially Montana, Iowa, those ships, they are some of the most tanky battleships in the game. That's why they have those giant superstructures that have extra hit points allocated to them, like the Germans. The Germans and the Americans are some of the tankiest battleships in the game. So they nerf them, or they balance them, by having a much larger superstructure with more hit points that you can farm while they're bow in. Because otherwise, if you gave an American or a German battleship the same superstructure as, say, the Japanese or the Italians, you wouldn't kill them. Unless you just burned them down. That would be the only way to kill them. Or the French, for that matter. So, that that's why the Germans and the Americans have that. Because they're so incredibly durable from a bow-in perspective. Uh, and once you learn to utilize the belt armor of uh, an Iowa or of a Montana, like you, once you learn it, it's like magic. I swear to God. Even Yamato. Even Yamato ain't getting through the belt armor of a fucking well-angled Montana. It's not happening. So, let, I'll show you. Sorry that wasn't a great game for you, Santiago, but hopefully it was a good one. The Timurer and the uh, Lion, I think, are the same ship. I could be wrong, but I think they are. Uh, Lion, I know, is Tier 7, but I think they're the same. But let's look at the, the belt of the Montana so that you guys know I'm not joking. So, this is why I, I say that these things are so powerful. Look at the belt armor. Look how high off of the waterline it goes. The belt armor is as thick as the goddamn turret plates. Which is incredible because the whole point of the turret plate is to protect the thing that makes the, the battleship, you know, good. The whole point of a battleship is, is to use its guns, right? So if you lose your guns, you're not very effective. So that is why the turrets are generally the most well-armored part of the ship. But the Montana has a stupid thick belt. And if you angle it properly, ain't nothing getting through it. But even further than that, if you get off of that and you go look at the, uh, we get rid of the torpedo protection... If you look at, not superstructure armor, we want the uh, the side upper plating. It's 38 millimeters. What does that mean? 38 millimeters cannot be overmatched by Yami's guns. So that means that the entire length of the middle section of the ship cannot be overmatched by anything in the game. And add to that, that it's sloped armor, <laughs> as you guys can see. It's sloped. It's, it's decently sloped. Which means that very rarely do shells impact it directly. So as long as you know how to angle, shit ain't getting through this thing. <laughs> which makes it one of the tankiest goddamn ships in the game. To put that into perspective, the Yamato has a very good belt armor as well. But look at the, look at the difference in the Yamato. So Yamato's taller out of the water, first of all. So there's a lot less of the belt that is protecting the Yamato. And while the Yamato still has a very tanky armor belt for the torpedo, like right at the waterline, it's not as far out of the water as the Montana's. And because it's such a tall ship, you end up with more of the, uh, the ship that has the 32 millimeters. As you guys can see, that is only 32 mils instead of the 35 mils that the Montana has. Why is 32 important? Because 32 gets overmatched by the Yama. Yama overmatches 32, which means no matter what angle you're at, you cannot angle the upper side plating of a Yama against another Yama. Meaning you're going to take those huge hits regardless of angle. Whereas Montana can just shrug that shit off. Which is why I like to push a Yama in my, Yama, or in my Montana whenever I get the opportunity. And if you bait people in to shooting at the belt in the Montana, I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but if you bait people in, and you guys have seen me do this, where I open the angle, 
you open the angle, make people think that they're going to get that juicy citadel that everybody knows and loves. And then at the last second, you start, you get that ship turning back in to close that angle. You're just going to listen to that beautiful sound of the plink, 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 plink off the side of the ship. It's fantastic. So now that we've talked about all this, let's put it into action. Let's see if we can get a game in the Montana that showcases exactly what I just said. We're going to try to put it in a situation where we get to angle the belt armor and try to utilize everything that I just said so that you guys know that I'm not just shooting shit out my ass. If there's one thing that you guys can trust me on in World of Warships Legends, it is my knowledge of American battleships. That's it. Like, if there's nothing else that you guys can rely on any sort of information from for me, it is American battleships. I know my ships, right? Like, I know my ships that I play the most, and uh, I know how to utilize them. So if there's one thing that I can, if, that you can take away from this channel, it's playing American battleships effectively. That is the one, one thing that I can honestly stand on and say, I can do this thing pretty fucking well. Uh, American, you don't want to hear any advice from me about carriers. That's the complete opposite. <laughs> this is definitely not the channel that you want to go to if you want to hear anything about aircraft carriers because y'all ain't going to get anything good out of that. I promise. Like, I'd just be 100. I'm just shooting 100 with y'all. Y'all know the deal. I don't lie. I'm just out here. I may get things wrong occasionally, but I don't lie to you guys. Okay? So, like, if I, if I screw up, I admit to screwing up, which is something a lot of people don't do. We won't mention any names, but a lot of people have trouble admitting when they're wrong. I'm not one of them. If I fuck up, I let you guys know about it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, we're going to see if we can. This is actually a small map, so this should be a good one. There's lots of Yamatos as well. So, hopefully, we'll get a chance to showcase some of that armor angling that I was talking about. We're going to have a good time. What ship is stronger, Montana GK or Conqueror? Uh, Montana has the better armor profile. GK has the better bow armor. Uh, Conqueror has the better heal. Conqueror has no fucking armor. None. And if you've ever been in a fight in a Conqueror where you're being focused by a fucking Mino, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't angle that ship against a fucking Mino. The Mino will shred a Conqueror in seconds. And you think that those heals are gonna save you. Well, unfortunately, AP doesn't give you all your fucking damage back, unfortunately. So those little chippy chips, your health goes away real quick. Anybody who's ever played a Conqueror and gotten caught by a fucking Mino knows exactly what I'm talking about. There ain't enough angling in the world gonna save your fucking Conqueror from a Mino. <laughs> but, uh... But we're gonna, we're gonna try to showcase this ship for you guys. Remember, we do have Arthas, and... This is the map that we... We just slapped the Yama on the other day for all its health. And this is roughly the range as well. Oh, dear lord. Oh, dear lord. Oh, it's a Conqueror. It's HE. We're fine. And he didn't get a fire. That's AP from um, Yama, though. That's gonna sting. Yeah. Nothing I can do about that. Those guys not being spotted until I fire my guns. There ain't much I can do about that. Oh, God. Please, no. Oh, it's HE. We're fine. Still fine. Still fine. I would like... Boy, being the first thing spotted's rough when everybody gets a shot at your ass. All right. Now, we should be at a much more, uh, you know, better angle to, to deflect rounds. That first turn's always rough. I don't care who you are. I don't... Oh, my God, he's in reverse. Who fucking sits reversing in a goddamn cur first? Swing and a miss, Blue Goose. We're gonna aim high here because at this angle we shouldn't be able to go through his belt so we want to hit upper side plating or superstructure and that's terrible dispersion all horizontal which is what you want when you're shooting at the broad side of a, an opponent but not in this particular situation fire the front guns at the napoli he's broadside we expected him to turn out did we aim it properly god he's so fast he's so fast you see, it was like he fucking had a speed boost going. <laughs> that man went from, like, quarter throttle to just gone. He had all day to look at that shit. Man, if that Tulsa goes forward a little bit, we could, we could do that Tulsa dirty if he goes forward. 
sitting where he's at, we can't really do much with him. But if he goes forward, we can definitely touch him. All right. He's going to turn in here. So we're just going to wait. No need to rush this shot. He's being targeted by the secondaries of a Schlieffen. Hey, it's legendary! I know that guy! Also, Schlieffen, legendary, is just reversing into the cap. That is a bold strategy. Um, I guess I'll just take a shot, hoping for superstructure hit here. I don't know exactly... Oh my god. I don't know exactly what he's going to do, but we can hit a superstructure. I know we're not really showcasing, but we, we kind of got punished for our first turn, so we, we got to be a little bit less aggressive here. Oh, please sit there, baby. Ain't nobody going to bother you. You're perfectly fine. You're perfectly fine, Tulsa. Look, we're not even looking at you. There's nothing on the way. You are... Oh, God, why somebody shoot him? Why did somebody shoot him? Still might get him. Ah. Somebody had to fucking shoot him. If he just sat there, he died. He dies. Guaranteed. But he fucking pulls forward just enough to get overpinned. Oh, look. It's a conqueror. Hmm. All right, we'll go superstructure on the conqueror here because he's going to turn and try to run. And then we got to try to get angled against the Yama. Uh, he's actually going so slow. And of course he shoots at us. It's Fallen Mouse. Dude, there's so many people getting into my games already. Like, I don't know if Legendary's watching the stream. I think he might be streaming on his own, so it might just be coincidence. But we've seen how many people already in chat in my game. Like, Alright, superstructure on the Yama. Hopefully we get behind this island in time. It's gonna be questionable at best. We chunked his superstructure and he got torped, so hopefully he's not in a position to shoot us. We're good. Uh, then we'll focus this conqueror down, maybe. Try to get rid of Fallen Mouse. We do still have five planes, so we want to use those. We just haven't really had an opportunity to use it. Everybody's trying to be a little bitch and run away. I get a shot at Fallen, I'm gonna take it. But, uh, Yama looks like he's had a rough day. Roger. Alright, just to make sure, we'll go ahead and use a plane on this one. We should be able to kill Yama here. Oh my god, somebody touches him. Yeah, see, most of those shells that impacted us from the uh, one shell hits the ass of our ship for a fire. Really? Really? Do I need to say it at this point? Fallen's right on the edge of my range, too. That fire out. Heal. Start headed back towards the center of the map. Getting our guns to the left. We haven't actually had a chance really to do anything. Everybody's been running around like a fucking doofus. Ain't nobody played like a normal person. In this I like that we're getting shot at by some random person somewhere. It's our own teammates. Our own teammates are shooting us. Of course they are. <laughs> Take that shot at Fallen, because they just fired. Oh my god, now they're gonna turn fucking bow in. Like, what are you doing? You're fucking playing your best Bismarck impersonation out there. Just doing circles. Play like a normal person. Like, who fucking plays like this? You're literally just doing a gigantic fucking circle. I don't know what's worse. Are you doing a Bismarck impersonation or are you trying to like show off for Greg Doucette? Like what what the hell's going on here? I've never seen somebody take a conqueror and sail in circles. You know why? Because you can't keep the guns on fucking target. 
It's a terrible idea. I've never seen somebody just sit there and do fucking circles in a goddamn conqueror. And we haven't been able to hit any goddamn shells. Like, we're trying to hit superstructure, but all they're doing is a gigantic circle, so, like, trying to land shells consistently in the superstructure is just not gonna happen. They're gonna die. Like, they, they can't only hold so long. They're fighting everybody, but sailing in circles is just goofy because you're not gonna be able to shoot anything. So that should be death for them. Finally get a shot at the goddamn superstructure. I've never seen somebody take a fucking uh, Conqueror and just sit there and do circles. Like, it's like the worst possible thing that you could do with a Conqueror. Because you can't keep your guns on target. Like, even if you build for the guns, the guns still are very slow turning. So you, you just never have your guns where you need them. Got a curve first here. That's gonna be accurate, so I think we'll go ahead and drop the fucking pl Oh my god, no! Ouch! You fucking turd! You're gonna pay for that, Yama. You might think you're a necromancer. Oh my god, there's a fucking destroyer still in the cap. Okay, we're fine. We've got an island between us and the destroyer. I'm gonna wait for this little turd to fire and then I'm gonna go for a superstructure. Go. Fire his gun. Superstructure on the way. Terrible dispersion. Still in. Still slapped his superstructure. Okay. Guns to the right side, please. Should go dark before. Oh, I'm not getting dark. It's fine. Hopefully, he died before he got another shot off. If he didn't, I'm gonna know very shortly. Come on, rear turrets, get turned. I know this little turret's here, and it's a Shima, right? Yep, it's definitely a Shima. God, I'm, I'm having flashbacks, except this time the destroyer actually went the right direction and went... Oh, no, the game's over before we get to shoot him? having flashbacks of the biggest rage ever where that destroyer like came up inside me and fucking fucked me right at the wrong time not the best game for the monta there's only so much you can do when literally everybody in the lobby just plays like a fucking little bitch like we had good teams look, look at the players on our team we had legendary we had big j so like lt like we had we had a lot of good players on our team we didn't have anything to shoot at we had a fucking conqueror doing circles we had what two yamas to shoot at that was it two yamas and a conqueror that was all we got to shoot the entire time so we never got a chance to actually utilize it but where'd fallen end up conqueror conqueror ah she got there fallen got third on the team so definitely not the worst. again it's a conqueror so if you do land shots you're going to be doing damage because it's he but I want to I want to take the Montana out again because I, I want a chance to showcase what I was talking about and I never got a chance to in that lobby so we'll see we'll see I, I want a chance to showcase what I was what I was explaining before we got into that match but uh but yeah so I know Fallen's in the chat and I'm not I'm not hating on Fallen you got to do what you got to do I've just never seen anybody doing a gigantic circle in the Conqueror because you can't keep your guns on target like that ship just does not have turrets that turns uh, and it's it's exacerbated by the fact that if you run the Conqueror, most of the time you're running Azure Lane Nelson with the uh, Big 7 perk. Maybe you're not, but most most of the time you will be, which means your turrets are even slower. So uh, I'm not hating on you, I promise. Promise, Fallen. I know you're in chat. But uh, it's just one of those things. It's like, what the hell is this Conqueror doing? Because I'm trying to, like, when I go after people, I, I go base I shoot based on what I expect them to do, not what they are actually doing. So like I expected them once they come out of a turn to go straight, because you're not going to continue to go in a circle, right? Most of the time, it's going in a circle is completely like oh, same goddamn map too. It's it's against what you want to do. Oh God, look at how many people we know in this one too. Again. We got Mouse on our team in the Montana. We got uh, LT in the Yama. We got Jaxed in here with a division. I don't know the other two in his division, but I know Jaxed. We got Blue Goose in the Yama again. 
Bryce in here. There's a lot of names that I'm I'm recognizing. Uh, free to play commanders. That's eh, fair enough. Ark Royal took your Ark Royal took your rudder out. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you were doing your best Bismarck impersonation. All those circles that I've seen you doing. And like I said, I'm not hating. I just point things out. Like I'm trying to aim these shots where I need them to go. Like if you're if I'm shooting against angled opponents, like I have to hit superstructure because I'm not gonna do damage, right? So like. You have to go for the superstructure. I don't overmatch a Conqueror. I don't overmatch really anything other than cruisers. So, like, I have to go for those superstructure hits. And when somebody's just sitting there doing unexpected circles, it's real fucking hard to land consistent shells into the superstructure. Okay, we got Bryce over here that we're going to have a beautiful look at. I want it one shot across here at whatever gets spotted. That guy's just sitting there bowing. Okay. All right, that's what we're up against. Fair enough. We should have beautiful looks at these guys across the way, though. Oh, look, they're going to go bow into me, even though I've not been spotted. Shocker. Never seen that before. I'll take a shot at the gearing, help our destroyer out. I love that I can hit a destroyer at these ranges with pretty, pretty good accuracy, but I shoot at a fucking battleship and I miss everything because they're doing a circle. <laughs> like, I can hit a destroyer at these kind of ranges. I just miss a goddamn battleship. Okay, we got another Yama there. So many Yamas out tonight. This is going to be a good night to get some damage records for people. If this many people's in Yamas. What are they going to do? They're just sitting here. Like, who plays like this? Nobody plays that flank like this. Nobody just goes bow in and stops right there. Nobody. This Yama's kind of being aggressive, which is going to get him killed. A little bit further. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. Somebody's wrecked him. All right. We're going to use our first plane here on the superstructure of this Yama. That looks pretty good for accuracy. We sit it out at that angle? I'd be pissed if I was that guy. <laughs> How the hell did we sit at element at that angle? I guess maybe a shell went through the cheek. I didn't think he was open far enough for the cheek on that one. All right, we should have a beautiful look at this Montana here in a second. Got out. Unfortunately, the plane will run out before these get there, but should be a pretty solid hit midship. He turned into it, so we didn't get as many pins as I'd like, but we did get a couple of superstructure hits. Our Montana is bowing and lost half of their hit points already. See if I can bait Bryce into shooting me. No, there's no chance. He's going to shoot the guy that's right in front of his face. That's fallen again. All right, we're going superstructure fully this time. You're not going to be able to angle this time. Destroyer's actually shooting me. I'm worried about this Yama, but he's not behind here. He's still behind the island, so we should be fine there. This Montana should be dead. Yep. Okay. So we got this Yama here, still behind the island, still reversing. So we'll aim behind the superstructure, try to get those shells into the superstructure. Oh my god, never mind. Where the fuck did that shell come from? <laughs> oh, over there. That makes sense. Boy, there's a lot of dead people already. This is what I'm talking about. Like, there's, these lobbies, you're never going to get any damage. Because these lobbies, you've just got everybody throwing their ships away as quickly as possible. Like, there's nothing I can do that's going to change the way that this damage is going for us. Because everybody just threw their ship away. Our team threw their ships away. Their team threw their ships away. So there's a few ships that's got some decent damage. And then there's us who's just sitting here going, Hmm, this looks like a fun fight for somebody. I think we'll use the plane. First shot's not going to do anything. The second, second and third turret should be fine. No! Oh, somebody killed him before my shot got there. Fuck! 
We're never gonna get any damage if everybody's like in the in the lobby is just throwing their fucking ship away. Like we are never gonna get any damage. Like th there's no damage to be had for us. Like I played like a normal fucking sane individual for once, and everybody on the enemy team is dead, and that our team is just fucking neutering everybody. Like how am I supposed to predict that? He's turning in, so we'll just aim ahead. See if we can catch him peeking around the corner here. We did. There's no predicting these these stupid plays that just occurred in this lobby. There's no predicting it. Like, who, who fucking does what everybody did in this lobby? Nobody. There were so many people that got just removed immediately. I'm trying to, like, play strategically for the first time ever on stream and showcase the ship in, the, in a way that I just described for everybody, and everybody's just throwing everything. They don't even try. Like, this guy's pushing out. He's got a shot. There goes that. I, nobody plays like this. Nobody. This is not a normal way for people to play. Like, this is... I swear to God, you can play a million fucking games in this game. You will never see this shit again. This only happens while I'm streaming. Sails right into a crossfire, knowing that that Yama's over there. <sighs> We're spotted by a fucking plane on the other side of the goddamn map. I wanted this Montana to push forward, but he's not going to because he's in the goddamn chat, so he knows that I'm just sitting here waiting for him. But this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, nobody plays like this. Everybody being hyper-aggressive and just throwing their ships away, it does not happen. Also, fuck you, Yama. I wasn't looking at you, you little turd. Nobody plays like this. This is not normal gameplay. So try to like show anybody how to how like I generally play. It's just fucking impossible when this is how everybody's gonna play. I don't know if this guy I don't think he should be able to lob this. Yeah, the game's over. What up, Coddington? That's your first game in, and I don't think that's how you use it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, just sailing straight into the cap 30 seconds into the match is definitely not how you want to use the Montana. But again, like that, everybody in that lobby played like fucking crazy people. Nobody plays like that. You don't get Yabas just charging into caps and Montana's charging into caps and other... Like, I can't express that enough. Like, that is not a typical legendary tier game. Like, usually legendary tier games are, like, boring and fucking long, drawn-out fucking camp fests, which plays perfectly to what I was trying to showcase, but these games have been so fucking quick, and everybody's just throwing all their health away, so there's no chance for me to showcase anything. So, I guess you guys will have to keep looking up the videos, because we're getting the fuck out of legendary tier, because that shit's a fucking mess right now. We'll go play Constellation. <laughs> Like, I cannot express enough just how crazy the last two fucking games in the Montana have been. Like, that is not typical legendary tier gameplay. That was just fucking insanity. You don't see that on a normal basis where everybody just throws their fucking ships at everything. It's like, fuck it! Spartans in the lobby! Everybody's in the fucking chat! Let's fucking go straight in! What the fuck could go wrong? <laughs> Ah, you get deleted. Ah, I get deleted. Ah, they get deleted. Everybody gets deleted. It's like, what the fuck is going on? I'm trying to show something, damn it. Stop it. Ah, Lord have mercy. What up, Zach? Steady hand, Keel. Welcome to the Sparshoots, my dude. Thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Can we get some goats in the chat? It's kind of weird seeing everybody play like I normally do. Like, usually I'm the crazy one, and I'm the one that's getting all aggressive. And then I get into a match where I'm trying to, like, show strategy and how to use a ship, and everybody just throws their ships away. It's like, General okay, well, Portals. fuck me. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Constellation is a great ship. It doesn't have much armor, but it's essentially a Colorado with torpedoes and super accurate guns. So what's not to love? And it's got radar. Comes in real handy. It's just crazy. Like, you don't see people play that way on a normal basis. Now we got Vlad. We got Feel My Flame in this one. We got... It doesn't matter what... Foxhound is back in here in a Turpitz this time. Hopefully the, the lobbies slow down a little bit and play a little bit more strategically so we can actually talk about some shit instead of just watching total and unhinged chaos. It is fun to watch from a, from a, you know, backwards perspective, I guess. I think I'll hold my fire. Ooh, that would be a beautiful look. Let me get in range for that. Hello? Aim high. Get the guns loaded. We did aim high. He is turning out slightly, but look at that accuracy, man. Oof. He got turned out enough. Bad thing about this ship is it doesn't have armor. You get caught. Oh, shit. I didn't think that that Iowa had that range. That is a range build Iowa. Which is scary as fuck. He hit Citadelus. He just got multiple pins, but I'm glad I saw that, or he would have Citadelus. Who the fuck plays a range build Iowa? That dude's shooting from 20 fucking kilometers away. <laughs> I promise there are better better ways to play, man. You don't need to play with fucking uh, 21 kilometers of range. I know cruisers have some shitty fucking range, but you can play around that. You don't need 21 kilometers of range in your Iowa. I promise. I'm not going to be able to lob this, which is so unfortunate. I might get... Is he going to be... He's beached. Oh my god, he's beached. Enemy destroyer detected. We want to push down. He's going to be reversing. We want to aim there. Now we want to go forward so that we don't get fucking murdered. Enemy battleship sighted. Got one. Enemy destroyer He's going to go detected. forward now. So we want to aim... About there. Some people say I don't know how to aim. Those shells all fell short. But, tell me that wasn't perfectly placed. <laughs> I think he turned away. Alright, so somebody is in the Charlie cap. That's fine. I didn't see what the battleship was that was here. And I know there's a cruiser. So it's either you, uh, Plymouth or Salem that's here. And there's a battleship. Okay. Interesting. Well, considering the Alpha Cap is not being captured, I don't want to be the first thing around the corner. Oh, well, we're not the first thing around. That's Plymouth. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have a catch this guy. Hello, Plymouth. Oh my god, that thing is so fucking busted. And they still hold their fire and shoot me. This guy comes around the corner, fires his guns at him, and he still waits to shoot me. Little fucking turd. I will break your guns. Fucking Plymouth. God dang it. Now this is war. We're both below the waterline. We're blood or free, you little bitch. The Plymouth is so busted, man. It really is. Like, it's everything that you love about the fucking British light cruisers, except it doesn't have a Citadel. Like, that shit, literally, for whatever reason, they just took the Citadel out of the Plymouth. Like, Edinburgh can be deleted. Mino deleted. Neptune deleted. All of them can be deleted. The Plymouth, that shit just tanks that shit. No, no matter what angle. Never mind, I just Citadeled it. I lied. That guy's gonna reverse, so no shot. 
<laughs> but that the Plymouth just does not normally get Citadel. That's that's the funny thing. But because I said something, now it gets Citadel. I would love to twerp like here and see that guy go right into it, but at the same time, I don't think he's going to. So we're just going to play towards the other side and hope that our team kills that guy. Look at this beautiful look. Over angled Iowa. Hey, this is the guy that shot me earlier from 20 kilometers away. Little turt. All right. So what do we have? We have a Sumner out here, all the way out on the flank. They still have two destroyers. We're gonna leave the the Rishi behind, and we're gonna try to put ourselves in a position to take advantage of these battleship players and potentially help with the destroyers. Now they're not in the cap. All stations requesting fire support. Okay, this guy's officially in range to shoot as well, or to to radar. Perfect. Keep them lit. Come on, boys. Shoot him. Shoot the little turd. Our team has taken the lead. Why is nobody shooting this guy? Turning to ship. Why is nobody shooting him? He's been spotted for so long. That is so unfortunate. That's the downside of this thing, is it doesn't have any goddamn bow armor. The fact that I have a fucking cruiser next to me and a goddamn Hayate, and nobody shot the fucking destroyer while he was radared, other than me, is fucking unbelievably stupid. Especially considering I know this motherfucker right next to me. You're in a smoke screen, you're in the goddamn cap with a fucking destroyer who's lit up by radar, and you ain't pulling the trigger? And now you did. Now, that's crazy to me to think that they wouldn't fire that. Guy now. Did we torp this guy coming around the corner? I hope so. That'd be hilarious. Wait for it. Battleship players are so predictable, man. <laughs> they really are. Most of the time. Unless, of course, it's Fallen Mouse doing circles. For no reason. But, uh, but yeah. It wasn't shit for damage there, again. But, uh, it's just one of those... I still can't believe they didn't shoot that destroyer, but somebody must have killed him. I don't know I don't know when he died, but I was like... We, sh we were the only one the entire time that that guy was spotted with radar. We were the only one to fire at him. Nobody shot him. Makes you wonder. Oh, what do we do here? Neptune torped him. That checks out. <laughs> that checks out. That checks out. Um, I don't know what to play, to be honest. You know what we haven't played for a while? Let's play the Parsifal. What is my damage record with the Constellation? I'm not sure. 
I don't know what my my highest damage in it. I've had some pretty good games. Um, that wasn't one of them. <laughs> that was just a everybody once again throws their health away, and it's just not much there for us. Okay. Interesting spawn location. This could be fun, actually. I think we go Torps first and try to hunt Destroyer. What do we got? Summers and Lightning, so that could be fun. They've got a Pobeda. His name is Turdloaf. Fair enough. You guys are about to see the worst carrier player in World of Warships Legends. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alright, what are the odds that one of their destroyers is coming straight across the middle and that I can spot him, like, immediately? Stay away from the fighters of that guy. We've got broadside cruisers. Man, that thing's got fucking... Oh, it's an Edinburgh. It's an Edinburgh, and he's probably got fucking um, extra range on his AA. Okay, so we got three battleships spawned over here. So, there's definitely a destroyer that spawned mid and over to the right. So we will go over that direction. Avoiding the Salem at all costs. This is called scouting, guys. I know, it's crazy. Carriers never fucking do this shit. All they care about is damage. Oh, great. There's the mines. I guess we will go ahead and attack the mines here. I don't really want to attack the mines. Oh, there's their little turd. Hiding behind the fucking mines. Me too. Like a throw strats. Oh my god, carrier won't find me behind the fucking mines. Oh, but I will. Hello. Spread it out a little bit. He's eating one at minimum. Okay. Yo, Jonathan Mendoza, thank you for the $10, my dude. Appreciate you with the slappers coming in. Get some goats up in the chat for Jonathan, please. Unfortunately, our fucking entire gut. How? How are you people this bad at the game? Oh my lanta. We are gonna have to go fucking full sweat mode here. Okay, this guy's gonna go forward. Drop him from back here. hit on the mines. Drop it. Just get one torp out anyway. Alright, time for the AP bombs. Our team's dead already. We've lost the destroyer, we've lost battleship got another battleship that's almost fucking dead. Like, how are these people this bad at the game, man? 
We don't even have a safe place to go. Like, if we go to the left, those guys are just rushing forward. Attention. Reporting the target position. I was gonna go for the main here, but I would like to hit the destroyer again. Smoking them up. Damn. All right, well, I guess the best possible chance for us would be to go this way, because the left side's completely dead. There's not much hope for us. Like, when I play carrier, my teams are so fucking bad that, like, I don't get a chance to do anything. Like, I scout for the team, nobody can do any damage, like, it's, it's just GG. They capture all the bases, like, they can't win a side, they can't hold anything. We're using some of our, uh, speed here. Stickman, thank you for gifting a membership as well, appreciate you, my dude. And then these three are all together, and they're all fucking American, so, like, trying to attack this is guaranteed that my fucking planes are gonna get murdered. Might as well just go ahead and drop one of these. I'm not going to get a fucking drop. Otherwise. Three fucking American battleships sitting on top of each other. No chance that I get anywhere fucking near that. This, this is the problem with me playing a carrier. Like, you literally cannot fucking play a carrier when I'm streaming. Like, if I play solo, I can I can actually maybe do something, but when I'm streaming, there's no fucking chance. There's no chance while I'm streaming, because everybody will pick AA everything. There's no chance. This is the AA Edinburgh that we ran into earlier that's got six and a half kilometer fucking AA. We go in over the bow, we might have a chance here. Look at him, he just fucking twitches and that fucking AA is insane. And then they all fall to the left side of the fucking circle. What can you do? I suck in carriers, man. It's just no fun to play. At least as a battleship, I can directly influence the fight. Like, you can't fucking do shit as a carrier if your team is just trash. And our team was trash. Like, losing two battleships and a destroyer this quickly in the fucking right side of the map, like, you're fucked. Oh, hello, sunshine. If nothing else, if I can kill this little fuck, I'll feel real good about this. Oh, God dang it! So close! Well, they're launching fighters. I can't launch the fucking plane. Just no chance. If your team sucks, you have no chance at a fucking battle or in a uh, carrier. Split both sides of the ship. I know trying to attack a fucking destroyer with AP bombs is an ideal one. What else am I gonna do? I just wanted the satisfaction of killing the little bastard. Since our team can't fucking kill him, yeah, that's good. Eh, 
again, this is why I don't play carriers. At least as a battleship or a fucking cruiser or destroyer, I have a direct impact on the battle. Like, it, you have to rely on so many fucking teammates to actually have a brain as a just as a carrier that you're fucked. Like, you just got no chance. You got no chance. Like, literally not a single fucking flank was won. Our destroyers did nothing. Our team did nothing. Our, our right flank collapsed immediately. Uh, despite us spotting destroyers, nobody was killed. Even though I torped the destroyer twice, I torped the main. We spotted the main. Like, we spotted it everything early in the game and nobody nobody was able to take advantage of it uh, i kind of want i kind of want a little uh little friesland action now there's there's nothing i can do like there's literally nothing you can do as a carrier player if your team is that bad you cannot you cannot swing the battle fast enough if like by the time my planes got to the right side, they had already collapsed. We already had a Kansas that lost two-thirds of his health. We lost. They had another battleship that was half health. We had the destroyer that was dying. The other flank was up against three battleships sitting bow in, and they couldn't do anything against it. And that, They had two-thirds of our team over there held up by three battleships. So there, there's just nothing you can do in that situation. We had a Mines. We had a... Uh, Edinburgh, that was a full AA build. The three battleships that were together on the left flank were all Americans, so they had AA. So like, there was just no chance that I was ever going to get any any sort of damage. I was just going for the hopeful get rid of the destroyer. At least I did something, and I couldn't even do that. I couldn't finish him off. You're the mines. Great. Who could have seen that coming? It's not like every game hasn't had everybody in the lobby be in the fucking game. Thanks, guys. Like, th this is why I don't play carriers, though. Like, it's not fun for me, especially on stream. Like, I can play carriers a little bit. Like, I know how to save planes. I know how to make an impact in the game. But when you're streaming and trying to play carrier, you're fucked. Because everybody in the lobby that stream snipes you will literally pick AA builds of everything. And they will, they will just sit there. They'll group up. They'll try to stay away from you. That, that's all they do. So you've got no hope as a fucking carrier. And then on top of that, your team sucks. So there's nothing you can do. <laughs> you just got no hope. We'll see if we can't make an impact in the Friesland, though. Get a little bit of retribution here. I think I'm still running the will to rebuild meme on my Friesland. I think. Could be wrong. I think I am. I'm radar 30 god dang seconds into the fucking game. Who does this? Critical engine damage. Again, nobody plays like this. I swear to God, nobody plays like this. Engine boost activated. You fuck! I'm not even spotted, man. How are they still fucking hitting me? Nobody fucking plays like this. What are the fucking odds that a, the only fucking radar... Of course, I get in a fucking destroyer. The entire fucking lobby fills up with fucking radars. Shocker. Real big fucking shocker. And then they just charge straight into the middle of the map and radar me 30 seconds into the fucking map. Of course they do. Because that's what you do, right? That's what you do. Everybody. Ev that's all they do. Everybody, every fucking time, that's how they play the game, right? Every time they play, they will just charge straight into the fucking middle of the map and radar as quickly as possible so that you catch the one destroyer that's there because he's a streamer. That's how everybody always plays. Fucking bullshit, man. That's why I get so fucking pissed off at stream snipers because that shit doesn't fucking happen. 
This shit only happens while I'm streaming. If I'm playing like fucking any any other offline, like if I'm playing just regular fucking World of Warships Legend, nobody plays like this. But every time I'm streaming, suddenly everybody in the lobby goes full fucking suicide bullshit. Every fucking time, without fail. I was hoping to catch the fucking Yudachi creeping here on the other side of this island. But nobody plays like this. Except when I'm in a fucking destroyer. Or except when I'm in a fucking carrier or whatever. It's whatever I choose, they will counter me. That's why the entire fucking lobby suddenly filled up with fucking radars. It's whatever I choose, that's what people will choose to fucking counter. And then they'll play like fucking crazy people just to try to get the chance to kill me. That's their only goal Engine in life is to kill activated. me. This is their only fucking hope in life. Fucking stupid, man. Get so fucking old. I just want to play the goddamn game and everybody has to try to fuck me over. Pardon, we just want a chance to play with you. It's not like you do count in streams or, or lobbies with the training room where people can jump in and just have a good time. You don't do that. Now I gotta sit here like a fucking jackass and contest this cap the whole time because my team isn't gonna help with the middle. So, like, I can't go back over there. They're just rushing the mid. I've got a fucking radar right in front of me. I got a radar off to my right. I would love to shoot, but I don't have a smoke because I had to use it to break line of sight because their entire team was just sitting there waiting to shoot me. Fucking shit gets old, man. I just want to have good time. I don't know why everybody always has to try to ruin it. Or just stop. Get a fucking life, man. Why? Like, it's not even that they get into your game. It's they get into your game and they do everything in their power to fuck you over. That's the problem. It's like, they, they, they don't care about the rest of it. They, they literally only live to try to fuck me over. That is their whole goal in life. So you go, Barton's in a destroyer, let's jump in a radar, let's just charge the middle of the map like a fucking crazy person. Many thanks. Teammate, I need your support. You just don't see shit like this. It's just like when we were in the Montana. Everybody played like fucking idiots. They just charged straight in, died as quickly as possible. There's no fucking strategy involved. Everybody played like a fucking crazy person. So you don't get a chance to do anything. And there's there's another radar. Just fucking, of course there is. Just radar me through the fucking mountain, because that's what everybody always does, right? It makes perfect sense to radar somebody when you can't shoot them. Perfect sense to radar somebody when you have no chance to fucking shoot them. Because you always radar for everybody else on your team. Because you know everybody else on your team will shoot the thing that you're radaring. And that happens all the time, right? Look at him, he comes out from behind his fucking island. Like, hey, hey, came out this whole fucking time. Nobody's come out from their island. They've been sitting here. Behind their fucking island. But as soon as they get a fucking chance to fuck me over, here they are. fucking murder you and I'm gonna laugh at your dumb ass for doing it. Oh, and you bounce off the fucking battleship. And where's our spotting? We don't have it. We don't have any spotting. We're the only person on the fucking team, right? That's what everybody always fucking shoots at. Oh, we don't even get the kill on him? That fucking checks out. I get to fucking use my goddamn guns. It'll make everyone in this fucking lobby hate me.
Boy, this fucking lobby real got got real fucking quiet all of a sudden, didn't it? Didn't it? Real fucking quiet. Shocker, he tried to torp me. I would have never noticed. You guys want to get into my fucking games and just try to fuck me over? I'm going to make every one of you guys regret it. Turd waffles. I ain't playing these games. Engine boost activated. Somebody's gonna get fuck. Smoke dissipated just a hair too soon. Somebody got my permafire probably. On a daily oh, basis, right? This is how you lead. play a normal fucking match. You just go fucking crazy and try to kill one fucking person and you get your ass kicked, right? That's how everybody plays. Play like a normal fucking sane individual. Stop just trying to fucking ruin the goddamn street. Shit fucking stupid. You see so many people play like fucking morons. Ain't nobody plays like that. There's, there's no fucking person on this planet that plays like these people have played. It doesn't make any sense to play like they play in this lobby. Like their whole goal was to kill me. You guys think I'm joking when I say that shit, but it's, it's, I'm not joking at all. This is their goal. The only thing that they know. <laughs> the only hope in their entire existence is that they get a chance to fucking kill me. And I fucking made them all regret it. Go fuck yourselves. Every last one of you. Every one of you. You think I, I, I ain't played this shit long enough to figure out what you guys are doing? Huh? Huh? You guys wanted it. Until you got it. And then suddenly it ain't as much fun anymore, is it? You can throw the entire goddamn lobby at me, counter me with every fucking ship in the game, I'm still gonna find a way to make you regret it. Especially when you make me upset. <laughs> I will make you fucking regret it. Ah! <laughs> Alright, what do we got? I know I missed some stuff, so I apologize. <laughs> I just had to make some people regret things. TJ Blade coming in, dropping five gifted memberships, then another gifted membership. Doctor, Doctor Ghost dropping a gifted membership. Joseph Ackfeld coming in, dropping a $5 bomb saying, pick me up. Sorry, dude. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not. I'm just playing solo tonight. TJ with another gifted membership. Christopher with a K coming in, re-upping for eight months. And Mr. Fox re-upping for six. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys don't enjoy me getting revenge on stream snipers, like, that is, you want a surefire way to piss me off? Do what they just did in that lobby. Pick all the shit that counters me and try to play like a fucking moron to get rid of me as quickly as possible. I will make you regret it. Ask all the people that played Battleships and, and caught me in fucking Omaha how they felt at the end of the match after I ruined every last one of them with the fucking Omaha. Ask them. Ask them. <laughs> Mr. Fox, thank you for another 10 gifted member. Y'all are crazy tonight. Thank you guys. I was having a good time until that last match. Like the carrier, I know I suck in carriers. That's that's whatever. I don't care. But that match right there pissed me off because I wanted to have a little bit of fun in the Friesland and everybody wanted to fucking go whole ham to try to remove me as quickly as possible. But I live. I'm like a little fucking cockroach. You can't get rid of me. I'm just going to keep coming back for more and I'm going to make the entire lobby miserable. <laughs> you can't play. What up, hypocritical? Thank you for dropping in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. 
I enjoy those those games the most. Like just making fucking people miserable after they try to like counter me. That's my favorite thing in the world. So many people trying to fucking play against my my uh, ship that I chose, only to be immediately like shown that there is just a difference between me and you. There just is. I may not be the best player in the world, but by God, you fuck with me and piss me off. I'm gonna make sure that you don't live to regret it. <laughs> piss me off. You can't make this turn, right? Is this guy this... He's, he can't be this blind. Oh, he's gonna turn all the way back. He's gonna go all hand. Uh, we only got two. He got lucky. I forget what our range is with our secondaries in the Atlantico. By the way, thank you guys for all the support on the, uh, the Danae Challenge video. I wasn't sure how that video was going to be received as a standalone video, but you guys absolutely blew that video up, so thank you guys. Damn, this, this fucking Helena is actually paying attention. He's making some really bad, bad plays in terms of trying to, like, stay alive, but, uh, he is at least not getting dev struck. So he's, he's actually paying attention and turning into my shells. Even if he is just playing like a goof and gonna get himself killed eventually, he's just prolonging the inevitable. He's put himself in a position where he can absolutely be heated. Now my secondaries are firing. My secondaries are bigger than his primaries. Double fire, of course. Alarm me, Jean, send you. Hold that thought. This is why we have five heals. How did he go dark? He didn't. Torpedos à frente. That's why we didn't fire or we didn't hit the casco. heal when we had double Estamos fires. Get rid of that little fucker. Secondary kill. Dude, this guy is surviving way longer than he should. Be. The secondary kill. And they give him a fire from the fire because he's dead. Alright. Zeton's backing off, that's fine. Oh god, there's another Zeton. There's another battleship! It's a fucking Sinop! How was he fucking unspotted? Also, he is fucking begging for it! Torpedos a bombordo! Torpedos a bombordo! Holy shit! How the fuck did he go unspotted that long? Stop. Ship. 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 Hello? Please don't pull out in front of him again. We need to heal. We, we've succeeded in driving everybody out of the cap. We've done our part. Now we just hold. I want teammates to help here. <laughs> we do have a cruiser and a battleship behind us. Sinop being a little pain in the ass. I didn't know that Sinop was there. Fucking sneaky ass motherfucker. Hide behind an island, just broadside as fuck, and gets away with it. We only got one citadel on him. Okay. Now, the question becomes, do I push? I know those guys are trying to rush the outside. So the question becomes, do I go forward now that the Sinop has backed off? Oh, you little fucking bitch. Oh, fuck me! They came back?! Please, secondaries! Fire the goddamn guns! 
anti-torpedo boat armament at their fucking finest right there. Thank God he's got worst fucking torpedoes in existence. Now the Sinop's gonna come up and finish me. Heal, bitch. Heal. God dang it. Again, who plays like this? Like, nobody plays like this. The whole team is dead. Why? Because they, they're playing like fucking morons just to try to kill me. <laughs> nobody plays like this, man. It's just stupid. Like a Sinop, hiding behind a fucking island, just waiting for an opportunity to shoot one person. A fucking destroyer, yellowing a goddamn Atlantico, of all things. And the only reason he got a, his torpedoes off is because my secondaries refused to target him. For whatever reason. Despite us having a good good shot through the bow side plating on him and taking two-thirds of his health right out the gate. Like, our, our secondaries just refused to target the little turd. So he survived long enough to get his torps off. Otherwise, he'd have just got death struck and never got a chance to torp us. Because the cruiser did shoot him. And then the King George just comes back. Like, these guys came into the gap and then decided to keep going. And then he came back. Like, who does that? Nobody. Nobody plays like that. It's crazy. Why go around the outside edge if all you're going to do is sit in the fucking middle and try to go after one person? That doesn't make any sense. Nobody plays like this. <laughs> only on, only when I'm streaming does this shit happen. Nobody plays like this. <sighs> it's so weird. Uh, let's see. Where, where do we miss? Uh, Matt's HD Garage. Thank you for four months, my dude. Appreciate you. Get some goats in the chat for everybody. Grady was the Congress in the last match and just happened to show up after the game, right? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I got my fucking revenge on everybody. For sure. For sure. Hey, hey. People think I'm crazy for fucking calling this shit out, but I'm going to call it out every fucking time. I ain't playing that bullshit. It just, it's so interesting that, it, that you don't see any fucking radar cruisers when I'm in a battleship, right? It'll be destroyers, it'll be battleships, that's it. You don't see the radar cruisers. As soon as I get in a destroyer, suddenly everybody in the lobby is in a radar cruiser. And then they play like crazy people. They just charge straight ahead into the center and radar as soon as possible. Or they radar while you're behind an island to try to fuck you over because their teammates might be able to shoot you. Nobody plays like that. You don't radar a fucking destroyer on the backside of an island because your teammates might shoot something. Why? Because your teammates are never fucking reliable. So you never waste a radar trying to radar somebody for somebody else. Like, you only use the radar when you can shoot at people. But people do that in that lobby. Why? Because their teammates might shoot. And sure enough, their teammates fucking shot. Must be nice. Must be fucking nice. It's, a, it's almost like the whole team was made up of people that were watching the stream and were ready. Like, I know where Spartan's at. I'm going to be ready to shoot. Oh, look. Radars. Isn't that nice? Cam dropping the $100 bomb out of nowhere. $20 million is a lot. You're not wrong, my dude. At this point, I'm assuming you got like $20 million as pocket change in your sofa. You're absolutely legend. Good lord, man. <laughs> I don't know how much money you've gifted between just me and everybody else that I've seen you gift but like good lord absolute legend get all the goats in the chat dropping a hundred dollar bombs left right and center guy's got the he, he is literally the b-52 of dropping fucking hundred dollar bombs like that's just legit oh no stick man he's dropped way more than that in the last two months, Cam has probably donated that minimum to me. <laughs> Let alone Aaron and the other guys that he donates to. Like, Cam is legit. <laughs> Cam is legit, man. He, he's crazy. But I appreciate you, my dude. I appreciate all y'all. I appreciate everybody. 
not just the people that, that drop the big big bombs. I appreciate everybody. Just hanging out with me, having a good time, putting up with my bullshit. Like I appreciate all y'all. Especially the stream snipers when I get to get pissed off and make you guys look bad. What? Hello? What the hell was that? War gaming? Are you drunk? Also, how does did Kansas not fire his guns there? I thought he fired his gun. Ouch. Somebody fired their guns. Dick. We're gonna go forward now. Boost the motor activate. <laughs> Fuck you! You guys think you can take blind shots at me? Huh? We start out two salvos into the game, we got 40k. Can't really complain about that. Can't complain about that. Let's see what we got off our bow here. I know we got two battleships and a cruiser. We know that Kansas is left. We know there's a destroyer in the mid, so we don't want to go past this island. I'm expecting torpedoes to be waiting for us. There's an Amagi. Oh, it's look, it's Blue Goose. Where have I seen that name before? I've seen that name before. Oh yeah, like in every game so far. That's right. Alright, since these guys are going to kind of play like, uh, I'm hoping that I don't charge out too soon. I'm hoping that I waited long enough. If they did torp, that I'd be good. Oh my god, the smoke screen's right here. Dear lord, please go. Must go faster. Must go faster. <laughs> Must go faster. Also, probably not the best idea to fire there, but I don't care. I'm speed boosting, so I'm hoping that I get the shot on him. Shells. We're shooting us, but I don't think the destroyer will be able to torp us at this point. This Mogami is about to have a real bad day. My frisky biscuit, huh? So there's a broadside champagne in the oh, oh, turning away. Fire the guns, he's gonna probably turn. No? No, he just takes it. Fair enough. I don't wanna back up. Oh my god, he's got more force. Uh, okay, it hit the island. I was hoping it would. I was hoping it would. How did the destroyer die behind me? That dumb fuck got himself for pity. This is unfortunate. Again, I ask, who the fuck plays like this? Promise, if that Mogami decides to come back, I'm going to punish him for it. Knock one turret. I really hope. How is half my team dead already? Oh, fuck me. Oh, the shore is back. Go forward. What I have to deal with. <laughs> Do you see what I have to deal with? I got a dumb fucking destroyer that manages to get himself killed when there ain't nothing else around him. I, he ain't got shit to worry about. Manages to get himself torped, I'm assuming. Then you got a fucking destroyer sitting in a fucking cap with another fucking destroyer who's sitting in a smoke screen showcasing exactly where the fuck he's at, and this guy can't get out of his own fucking way to go be bothered to try to do anything about it. I'm fighting everything on my side, plus half the shit on the other side. My team's already dead, and I still get yellowed by everything. Nobody plays like this. 
Only, only people that get into lobbies with me while I'm streaming play like these fucking people. Oh my god, Cam! Stop it! <laughs> Cam coming in, dropping another $100 bomb. I didn't even see it. Damn, dude. Damn. Jason, thank you for the seven months, my dude. Good to see you in chat as well. Like, god dang. We put up 107,000 damage and this game ain't even close. Both our destroyers are completely fucking useless. Neither of these- A fucking Friesland was the one that got killed immediately without doing shit. A Friesland! What the fuck is that? <laughs> what up, A-Rod? Welcome to the stream. What the fuck, man? How? How is it that I- I literally have to fight everybody in the lobby. I can do everything that I just did. I get yellowed by everybody in the lobby and my team still finds a way to fucking lose. How is that a thing? <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Also, Cam. Good Lord, dude. <laughs> Slow it down, man. You crazy. Can't be out here dropping... Well, I, I say you can't. You obviously can, because you've done it like two or three months in a row where you've just dropped all of them. Aaron, since my stream crashed, here's $5. Damn. You, you back on the Wi-Fi, my dude? <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. I've had that happen a couple of times recently, too. Uh, streaming U-Boat, for whatever reason, OBS seems to be be crashing on me. Or Streamlabs seems to be crashing. But for reals, man. Golly. Like, what do I got? I can't kill people fast enough today. <laughs> the whole lobby throws themselves at me. I, I just absolutely annihilate them. And then everybody around me just folds. It's like, how? How is it possible that these guys are this bad? I don't believe it. Well, since all the craziness is happening, we might as well go ahead and step up the craziness to the top tier. And uh, I'll run a Shima and see what happens. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys, you guys are what makes this game bearable for reals. Like even, even the stream snipers as crazy as y'all are, as annoyed as I get with y'all at times, like even y'all, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do this without you guys. Well, I could, I just would still be driving forklift. So thank you guys. <laughs> 20 million views, man. It's crazy. 20 million, 20 million views. I'm always wholesome. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm more wholesome than whole milk. All right. Cam. <laughs> if I don't get a game in the Florida, I'm going to go angry face. What are you doing tonight, Cam? You've dropped $300. Jesus. <laughs> all right i'll do a florida game don't you threaten me with a good time i'll do a florida game next game what the hell man actually at this rate i i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna just keep holding out if he's gonna keep dropping 100 dollar bombs just to drop like angry emojis like it would just make more financial sense like i just got off the phone with my financial advisor he says hey Cam's going to keep dropping angry face emojis for $100. You definitely don't want to play the Florida yet. Hold out a little longer. <laughs> I know it's tough, but hold out a little longer. <laughs> Just a little longer. You might finally be able to get one of those cars that are not $500. <laughs> I love my little $500 Subaru, man. Just spread the love out here. Just spread the love. Cam's spreading the love. The lobby's spreading the love. We're going to spread the love in the Shima. What are we up against? Two Shimas. I'm not too worried about. Oh my fucking God. That's a god dang mino. That I'm worried about. Unless, of course, he deletes himself real soon. Because there is a destroyer here. Get him, boys! Not gonna lie, it's only slightly scary that that Mino's right there. See, here's the thing. 
I am crazy. I know that he's got a six kilometer smoke firing penalty. I will literally sail my ass within six kilometers of a fucking mino just to spot his dumb ass for sitting in the smoke screen firing his guns. Say I won't. Say I won't. Suddenly his his gun stopped firing. Is he in the chat? Oh he's in a he's in a fucking division with a goddamn Des Moines. That's terrifying. That's fucking real terrifying. It's one thing to charge a smoke screen with a fucking mino in it. It's another thing to charge a smoke screen with a mino hiding a fucking Des Moines behind it. That's slightly disconcerting. Also, the destroyer's in a cap with us, so. We got a destroyer nearby, a, a mino, and a fucking Des Moines. There's a whole lot of hatred nearby <laughs> that could easily unravel my best intentions. Uh, it's a good thing I pay attention. That could have been bad. Jessica coming in is five dollars. I can't do as much as Cam, but love you, dude. I, I appreciate you, Jess. And like I said, you guys don't have to dono, man. I just appreciate everybody for hanging out with me despite my fucking manic bullshit. Like seriously, like I am like the craziest fucker on the planet, and y'all still put up with my ass. I'm about to engage a fight with a fucking Des Moines. I am, I have officially lost my damn mind. We did, we did torp the Mino though. If he fires his guns, he should get spotted because he's definitely within six kilometers. Bad thing is... Oh wait, 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 wait! Get the guns loaded, get the guns loaded, get the guns loaded. Come on, baby. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, we gotta come out of the smoke, spot the Des Moines, get him finished off as well. Des Moines should get spotted here. I lied. Oh, there he is. Good dodge. We're gonna go grab the cat. We know it's a Shima, so I'm not that scared of a fucking Shima duel. And Des Moines should be dead here. If they can aim. And then I'll go up in here and murder this, or like, spot and help murder. Thank you. I will come back and support you, my friends. Thank you for everything. Uh, TJ, thank you for the $2 as well, my, my dude. Jessica, also, that was your first ever super chat on YouTube. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You guys are crazy, man. I, I do appreciate you guys. I gotta think you guys know just how much you guys mean to me. Like, for reals. Gonna end up crying over here. That's what's gonna happen. TJ with another $2. By the way, the game audio is very tra- Why is the game audio trashy? It has stat- Oh my god. Dude, it's, it's a fucking encoder issue. I guarantee it. This has happened before. And uh, the only way to stop it is to end the stream and, and restart it or something. I might be able to, like... I might be able to pause and, and try something. But, yeah, this this has happened before. I, and I had to restart the stream. So we may end up just ending the stream if that's the case. Hello, little turt. some fucking accurate secondaries from that Palmer. Like I'm going up against a goddamn roof brick. Got him. Oh shit! Alright, you little turd. You wanna play that game? I'm game. Also the other destroyers here.
no. <sighs> yep. I wasn't scared. You were scared. I wasn't scared. You were scared. Woo wee. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I apologize. Um, to give you guys a little bit of a reprieve, maybe I can uh, mute the Elgato. In the meantime. Fuck me, dude. God dang. I get it. You want to torp the shit out of me, you little turd. Get over here! You wanna fucking try to tort me, you little bitch? I got a bone to pick with your ass. As soon as I get my guns to the right side. Those all fall short, really, game. You little bitch. You and your fucking torpedoes. Go fuck yourself. That dude really wanted me dead, didn't he? He really tried to torp my ass. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have all the torps for you. <laughs> TJ with another gifted membership and another dollar dono. Thank you so much, man. Surely the gearing's got the Conqueror dead. And that just leaves a Palmer. I, I turn I muted the audio of the Elgato guys uh, because everybody was complaining it was staticky. So give me a moment after the sh after this game I will try to see if we can rectum fry that so that we don't have that issue where everybody's staticky. So just give me give me some time guys. That was just a quick quick thinking reaction. I think I can reset the uh, the input while we are still streaming. So just give me a few seconds. Also, top of the leaderboard with only fucking 47,000. Do your jobs, destroyers. Do your fucking jobs. Stop being fucking damage hogs and do your jobs. It's that easy. Easy move. Also, all right. Give me just a second. We'll see if we can't reset the, uh, reset the thingamajig. All right. So if we go here and we click at this and we click at this and we deactivate... And activate. Did that fix it? What up, Dark Lord? Play an Iowa class battleship. No, uh, Cam asked me to play Florida, so I'm gonna jump in Florida real quick. Sweet. I, I, I was pretty confident last time I did that, and I gotta I gotta actually say thank you to Peak for this, because I didn't know that you could do this. So thank you, Peak, despite all our indifferences. Um Peak helped me figure that one out. So the last time this this happened, I actually shut the stream down, restarted the stream. He's the one that told me that I can go into the actual input, deactivate it, and then reactivate it. So uh, you know, he does have moments. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> we don't we don't need to think. But I'm glad it fixed it. I'm glad I'm glad everything's only up and up. Uh carrier game. It's tier five. We're top tier. Beautiful. Haman's in here in the Yuga, of course. It's alright though. We're in a tier six, so it's not as bad. Um 
We should be good. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, man, for real. You guys have been you guys have been great. As always. You guys always bring the energy. I try. I try to bring the energy every time. Sometimes sometimes I'm lacking in the energy department, but not tonight. Tonight's been fun. Despite having some uh some issues. Despite doing over ten miles of cardio before starting the stream. That Sirov is totally not me. Enemy force detected. Okay. Oh look. It's a Nagato. Butter airborne. Oh my god, he's paying attention. He's actually turning in. It's a shame. Oh look. All of their battleships are coming to me. Careful what you ask for, boys. You just might get it. Oh no, this is the worst. Oh no, I saw the outcropping too late. Oh, and it's a fucking carrier game. They're gonna keep me. I'm so dead here. Cam, I'm sorry. I'm so fucked. There's no chance I get out of this alive, right? Like, there's no chance. Please go forward. Owie. Please go forward. Main turret. Must go forward. Oh my god, we got away with it somehow. I don't know how. We actually got away with fucking beach and broadside from every battleship on the enemy team in Florida. How? How are we still alive? Stickman, thank you so much for two dollars. Play play a ship with a meme. Or play a meme ship with a meme build. Battleship, please, dude. It's bad enough that I was I was broadside to everybody once. Please get the fuck out of my way. Whatever you are, please go away. You're gonna get me killed, man. Bad enough I beached in front of everybody. I don't need you sitting in front of me fucking holding me broadside, man. God dang it. Fucking chunky ass fucking Colorado. Oof. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This game's gonna give me an aneurysm. Good thing I've been doing all, all that cardio. This could be a juicy shot at that fucking broadside Andrea Doria. Look at that accuracy, baby. Look at it! Boom! Oh, it stings! It stings real good. <laughs> Florida's a bad ship, boys. Don't play it. It's real bad. Immediately paid for it, didn't I? Immediately. I saw the shells coming in. Half a second too fucking late. Immediately paid for it. Florida's a bad ship. Immediately loses three quarters of my fucking health in return. <laughs> fucking karma. Fucking karma right there. Shoots over the top of a broadside Colorado just to shoot me. I will make you pay for that. I promise, Onagi. Or Nagato, whatever the fuck you are. You will pay for your incontinence. <laughs> I know that that's not the right word, but it's still funny. Oh my god, we're gonna get rammed by a second battleship. Please, no. Please, you got the whole ocean. You got the whole ocean to sail your ship. Why are you hugging me? <laughs> Fuck you, Mick. God dang it. Why are these people existing? Whole exo the whole ocean to sail in. And we've been rammed by two of these motherfuckers. And the worst part is he's steering into us. Like, steer the other direction, dum-dum. Steer the other way. Uh, I hate 
I hate stupid people. I really do. Beat them with a passion. At least I got some spaced armor. He's gonna protect my fucking citadel. I don't think he's gonna like it. But I can't shoot anything because I'm fucking getting ghost shells because of his dumbass fucking ship. But he's still not steering the other direction. He doesn't want to angle against the fucking battleships. He wants to just sail broadside. Like, these are the dum-dums that I get fucking, like, livid with. Like, go. Just get the fuck off my ship. And then you got this fucking bri, bri who's in my fucking chat, who's shooting over the top of everybody else just to try to shoot me while all this fucking bullshit's happening. It's bad enough that I'm in a fucking squishy ship and I'm getting fucked over by dumbass teammates, but I'm also getting shot by people who are in the fucking chat shooting over those dumbass teammates just to try to shoot me. Like, at least if you're gonna fucking be in my goddamn game and, and shoot at me while I'm being fucked over by teammates, shoot at the goddamn teammate. Be a dead North Carolina. Look at you out there losing all your fucking hit points because all you want to do is shoot me. You a little pansy. Had two separate battleships try to fuck me over in this one, and you're out here just fucking wasting your time shooting at me. I said about how much I enjoy making you people fucking regret trying to focus me. I really enjoy the shit out of it. Um, that guy was a lot further away the last time I checked. Of course, I'm still being shot at by a fucking battleship right on the other side of the fucking planet. I, w I should shoot the destroyer here. I've got to shoot that fucker first. It's in the rule book. Enemy battleship destroyed. Fucking stupid. Deal with dumbass teammates, and then on top of that, I got stream snipers tried to focus me. They shoot over top of everybody else just to shoot me, because that's all they got. And I still killed your ass. You're welcome. But with Spartan, I just want a chance to play against you, man. What's so mad? Why are you so mad? Because it's fucking obnoxious. I got stupid ass teammates running into me and I got you fucking focusing me the entire goddamn game shooting over top of the dumb fucks. You wouldn't get upset? Really? Alright. Iowa first and then we will, uh, or Iowa class. They said Iowa class. Maybe I'll go Missouri. That way I have a radar. But I will play a uh, meme ship with a meme build as well. We'll play Mimachusets after this one. Bad teammate, bad ship, bad game. We didn't have a bad game. That's the worst part. Like, we didn't have a bad game. Hell, we started out with fucking citadeling the shit out of things. It's just that we got fucked over. Like, our stupid-ass fucking teammates. The guy literally runs into me and just keeps steering into me the whole fucking time. Doesn't want to try to, like, angle against the battleships that are shooting at us or nothing. Just sits there, forcing me broadside for as long as possible. You fucking morons, man. Another carrier game, but I'm in an Iowa, so that's not too bad. It's a show Kaku. General Quarters. Shitty map for this, though. Ugh. What are we gonna do? Okay, this battleship's going left. He's got a battleship of two destroyers there. We got two battleships on the right. I guess I kind of want to stay in the center and try to help where I can. But I'm gonna be spotted and focused by everybody in the lobby. We already know this. So staying in the center probably a bad idea too. So maybe I turn out towards the right and try to get angled. Nope, I'm spotted. Took too long to decide. So now they're gonna catch me broadside. Fuck. Enemy force detected. Oh look, short horse. I'm not the only one broadside. 
Enemy I did not lead him enough. Sighted. I did not think that that Sharn horse was that fast. Okay. Okay. Dick Boulder. <laughs> God, I'm a, I literally have the fucking sense of humor of a 14 year old sometimes. I am so tired of that situation right there. Dude is spotted. I go to aim at him. He disappears. I look away. He gets spotted. I look back. He disappears. It's like, dude, give me a chance to fucking shoot at the guy. I gotta rush shots because every fucking time I look at somebody, they disappear. It's still the Sharnorst, so I'm not too worried there. Kotsky's mid. Trying to sneak a shot in there on the Akatsuki. Looks fucking amazing. His engine's knocked out as well. Bonk! Yeah! We've sunk an enemy That's why you take those shots, boys. Shot. Shoot the destroyers. Don't be afraid. Shoot him. Shoot him! Your grandfather's served on Torpedoes Missouri? Direct Very nice. Front. Carolina here. Dude, I really want to shoot this Amagi, but I gotta wait. I've gotta I've gotta try to force everybody else back before I take the shot. We got the Sharnhorst here in a good position for a crossfire too. Like this guy's fucking begging for it though. Okay, so another destroyer is out here on the right. Enemy destroyer fight. What is our destroyer? Is he likely to help us? It's a Jervis. Um, probably not going to help us a whole lot. Okay. Hello, Cuniberity. Did you see that fucking accuracy? That was pinpoint precision. It just went to the wrong place. I was gonna take hits here, but I gotta try. I gotta try to turn away from this little bitch. And you know our fucking Jervis ain't gonna come out from behind a fucking island to try to help either. Enemy battleship detected. Concentrate firing at enemy. Just sits behind his fucking island, smokes up even. Like literally just completely fucking useless here. What's the point of playing a fucking destroyer if you're just gonna sit behind a fucking island like a dumbass? Look at Claire, I'm in a fucking Wooster. I, I can shoot over this island. It's gonna be great. I can't shoot my guns further than six kilometers though, so. Kinda limits my opportunities. Now he comes out. Now he comes out. The guy's spotted for five fucking minutes. Now this guy decides to come around the corner when he can't do anything. Fucking destroyer four kilometers away. Can he come out? Nope. It's behind a fucking island. You can't make up stupidity in this game. Like, it's, it's just everywhere. What is this guy? There, there's your problem. He's a fucking Ford guy. He's an EcoBoost Ford guy. That explains everything. Like, if I'd have known that. This guy's. This is the kind of guy that buys a goddamn electric Mustang that looks like a fucking Cybertruck from Tesla. Like, that's that's who that is. <laughs> that's the kind of guy he is right there. That is the kind of guy that, that goes and buys the fucking electric or electric Tesla fucking Ford Mustang that looks like absolute dog shit. I'm saving the environment. No, you're fucking stupid. If 
you think that electric cars are saving the environment, you clearly have not done your fucking research. Oh look, he's come out from hiding. He's got torpedoes in the water. He lands a torpedo! Is he gonna get more? He's gonna get more! Look at this guy go! If you introduce your destroyer to a fucking gunfight, you might actually be able to do something useful. Look at that, forces the guy to turn. I get the shots into the broadside. It's beautiful. Look at this guy go! He's evolving, chat. He managed to get torpedoes on target. Now he's using his guns. He can shoot things. He gets a fire immediately. Gets the kill with the flood. Look at this guy go. Holy shit. We also got a battleship on our left, so we need to try to make sure we are paying attention to that. I do overmatch this North Carolina, and I can definitely citadel him through the bow, but I also... Oh my god, those miss. Missouri. I know you feel bad. It's North Carolina, the second most decorated battleship in U.S. history, but come on. Hey, look, we used that belt armor. Main turret critically damaged. What the hell is that? It's a fucking Georgia. God dang it. We've got a Georgia on one side, a fucking bow in North Carolina using island cover on the other. Surely he can't lob that rock and hit me now, right? Like, okay, he's dead. Problem solved, sir. All right, Prometheus. Time to get you back on your fucking chains. You may be the, the father of humanity, but I'm gonna fuck you up. You're gonna be wishing you were back on the mountain getting eaten by crows. you guys don't know the story of Prometheus and, and stealing fire from uh, Olympus, then uh, we can't be friends. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about? You guys need to look up your Greek mythology. I wanted to get this base cap. an angry fucking irritating little turd burglar out there shooting HE at my my broadside. Thank God he's bad at it. I don't know how he's so bad at it considering oh yes. Go ahead sunshine a little further a little further look out for those tarps. Yes turn for me baby. We didn't get a citadel? A Georgia? Really? Oh the torps right out too. Rear turret for him. Ouch. Rear turret for me. Secondary kill. <laughs> Let's go. It's a fucking Atlanta, you little turd. I'll show you to fucking shoot at my ship, you little insolent bastard. Yeah, I'd, I'd run too, Pac-Man. Everyone knows that Mrs. Pac-Man was better. I said it. Battle ends in five minutes. If he goes much further forward, we can shoot him through this gap. It's gonna be glorious. Is he actually stopping? This fucking guy. Oh my god. Alright. I don't care if I die. I'm coming around that corner. I'm a murder. I'm a murder. It's gonna be a thing. You guys ever watch Team Four Stars like uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged? I'm Vegeta right now. You know when Vegeta's like, I'm gonna kill him! That's me right now. Do it. Do it! Just do it! Uh, 
you bitch. You bitch! I'ma fuck you up! It's gonna be a thing! It's gonna be glorious when it happens, too! This fucking goddamn mountain is fucking with me! Who puts a boulder there? Protecting little squirrely bastards and letting them hide behind a fucking island. I know this guy's trying to torp me. I'm not an idiot. I know he has four kilometer torpedoes. And he wants to use it. I also know that he's fully capable of killing me. He's got HE that's probably got EOP going. And he's got AP that'll actually do really well as well. So, I gotta keep outside four kilometers. Which I'm not. Torpedoes to port. Shocker. Who could have seen those torpedoes coming? Watch, they'll run out right past me. No? Is he running like space fishy or something? No, uh, Gleaves. Gleaves is an inspiration for longer range torpedoes? Or was I just that far inside the four kilometers? So I know he only has four kilometer torpedoes. Like, that is a thing I do know for a fact. The fact that this guy is being this, this fucking, like, shot at by destroyers is hilarious. Hi! Secondary kill! Get him! God dang it. I wanted the secondary kill. We did we did our job in that one. That was fun. 111,000. 111, 711. Why could the 7 not be a 1? Why couldn't we get 111, 111? But all the medals, we got Dreadnought, Confederate, Close Quarters, First Blood, High Cow, Dev Strike. And we still didn't get top of the leaderboard. I'm sorry, but I got more medals in that match than a North Korean general. And this guy, with no medals, gets top of the leaderboard. That's bullshit. Also, this guy who sat behind the island the entire game and only comes out just to get a cheap little little cap and uh, a torpedo kill on a fucking um, a Magi <laughs> gets gets third on the team. Well, there you go, boys. Was that not fun? Good morning from uh, Ohio, Flow. Appreciate you dropping in from Germany. All right, we're going to play one more, guys, and we're going to call it a night. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you guys so much for your generosity again. You guys you guys are crazy. Um, you, you guys really are. Thank you for all of the support. Here's to another 20 million. Here's to the path to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the day, in the end of the year. We are going to jump in the Montana. We are going to try to get that game that we tried to get earlier to showcase the Montana. And then everybody played like crazy people and just yeeted themselves into oblivion and we never got the chance to showcase it. I mean, this is kind of a meme build. It's maybe not a meme ship, but it's a meme build. We're running an Arthas and uh, Azure, New Jersey build. So it is kind of a meme build on the uh, Montana. That's why that guy, that the Ford, obviously, he was hiding behind the island because he knew if he pulled out, he was going to crash into a crowd of people. <laughs> that's that's why he was hiding behind the island. If He knew that if he pushed the, the throttle down, he was going to pull out and just crash into a whole crowd of people. Randy Duncan, my dude, Sergeant Slammy, thank you, my dude. Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm so sorry to hear about you. Get, I don't know what happened. But however you manage to burn your head like that, my dude, you got to chill. <laughs> got to be careful, my guy. If you guys don't know, this uh, Randy Duncan is a longtime friend of mine from all the way back in the Call of Duty days. Before I ever had a YouTube channel. Dude's name is uh, Sergeant Slam. He's a retired highway patrol, I believe. But uh, absolute, absolute legend. We've got so many awesome people in our community, man, for reals. From guys that I've, I've gamed with for a long time, um, to, to you guys that have only known me since I've been a YouTuber. Like, we've got such a great community. We really do. Other than the fact that a lot of you guys just try to get into my streams and ruin it. 
I'm looking at you guys, squinting, menacingly. But uh, we, we really do have a great small community here on YouTube. One of the best, I think. We may not be the biggest channel, but we, we are definitely one of the best communities. Because we help each other, we have a good time, and uh, we don't hate. Like, despite us getting frustrated, we don't hate on each other. You know what I mean? Oh my god. If he sits there, and we didn't get spotted either. If he sits there, that could sting. Nah, he took off. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping he'd sit there. The only time you ever played with me was when you were in Nine Denais. I mean, those are some fun, fun games, man. It's so hard to kill Nine Denais, man. It really is. Took everything out of the Atlantico to do it. Those secondaries are freaking nasty. As soon as I go to shoot, as soon as I go to shoot, the little turd disappears. Devil Dog, coming in with the $10. You are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, my dude. You are awesome. Appreciate you guys. Uh, why no more cam? I don't like, I don't like running face cam because I don't like the way I look, to be perfectly honest. We're gonna use a little bit of, uh, Geek Fest. See, there's the meme coming in, boys. There's that meme. You guys think that this ain't a meme ship? This is a meme ship now. Ask Chili. Running, running Azure Lane, New Jersey with uh, with uh, Arthas the Cold as an inspiration is dirty. And we're about to punch this fucking crunch at too. Oh, he gets away with it. Wait, who the fuck did we dev strike? We killed a guy that I didn't even know existed! <laughs> That was not the Petro that died. That was a fucking random ass Colbert. What the fuck? I'd be pissed if I was him. He's like, what the fuck hit me? <laughs> that was just a fucking random Colbert that died. What the fuck? I saw the fucking guy I shot at. I was like, well, how's he still alive? <laughs> that was just a random Colbert that just got fucking removed from full health. That is hilariously sad. That guy's gotta be pissed. <laughs> And then the cur the Petro ends up getting yeeted by a cur first seconds later. Oh my god, that guy's gotta be livid. <laughs> There's nothing better than killing somebody you don't know exists. Except maybe killing a fucking Worcester from very high health. That would be that would that would be better. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! It already knows, man. It's like Montana is like, finally, we're gonna get, we're gonna show off here. We're gonna actually show off. My neighbors are probably pissed at me too. They're like, they're probably more pissed than the Colbert, because they're like, God dang it, shut the fuck up. It's midnight. God dang it. <laughs> it's really not that interesting what you do. <laughs> Let's go, man. Ah, there is just there's so much fucking justice being served out to fire spammers in this lobby. It's like. If you're a fire spammer and you're in this lobby, you just got all the justice that you've been back-ordered for so long. So much back-ordered justice has been fucking denied to me. But it's all coming home to roost, Bobby Boucher. The chickens are coming home to roost. Come here, Schlieffen. Schlieffen's like, Oh, I'm gonna come up in here and do things. I'm gonna be like, No, because I overmatch you. 
You don't get to do nothing. I'm gonna... Really, Montana? Please? Let's not allow this thing to get... Montana! You deleted every one of the fire spammy cruisers and now you're being rushed by a torpedo bat- Oh my god. Hello? Curfers? Question? Curfers just pulled Roto-Rooter action out. Nacho Nico, you are next! <laughs> While we're talking about justice, let me just swing around the rear turrets of truth and justice here. They've never let me down. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Truth fell short. Justice went and did its thing. Honor and glory on the way. Through the cheek. Ah! Didn't quite lead him enough. All right, Nacho Wainico. You and I are gonna do -do 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 do You guys want to see something disgusting? Watch me slap this guy's superstructure here in a second. Wait for it. Oh, didn't quite aim far enough. I think he stopped because of the curve first. We hit we hit some of those into his guns. This curve first is about to murder him. Or are they gonna ram? Is he gonna try to ram? I think I can pin the cheek at this angle. He is reversing. So we're gonna aim a little bit behind the cheek. That looks good. Oh, I knew it. I knew I could pin the cheek at this angle. I know my ship. I know my ship, man. What is this Kerfers doing? Oh, he's going for the he's going for the drive-by cheek shot. Cheek shot anytime. Bonk. Lay bonk. Oh god. Like if you don't lay bonk, I'm about to lay bonk. Lay bonk on the way. Oh my god, he waits until I fucking shoot and then he gets the lay bonk. God dang it. I could have shot the Kerr first. There's two healthy battleships out here. I'm looking forward to this. Plus, they're focused on the, the Kerr first at the moment. We got 20 seconds. We're not spotted either. That's the best part. Like, they're going to end up shooting him again. first threw all of his health away to kill that Yama. Superstructure. Not quite as good as I was hoping for. He is angled pretty well away. But it's fine. I can take them. Do we haven't been touched either. Like, we haven't exactly played passively and we have not been touched. This team got stomped. Down goes Kerr first. Or at least he will be shortly. That looks better on the superstructure of the conch. Uh, no. Actually didn't lead it enough. We hit his turrets. Hit his rear turrets. Come on, Spartan. Aim. Aim. We've got max dispersion. Oh my god, he's... They're broadside to whatever... That's another curve first. I've never seen this many curve firsts in one place. Oh my god. Yes, please. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and use Arthas for this one. Oh, yeah that's what we're talking about baby that's what we're talking about you guys wanted a meme build this is a meme build i'm telling you arthas with this build is disgusting and they still can't see me i'm too sneaky i would have shot the cur first again but i want to get a shot on the conqueror and get around this island Dude, I gotta lead a little bit more on that conquer. Just a little bit more. We're not quite leading him enough. <laughs> we still haven't been touched! We still have not been touched! Oh my god, he's going broadside. Shot out! 
Hit him for everything he's got, Captain. This game's over if we hit him. Or if we kill him. There's the Confederate. He turned back out. Didn't quite get what we wanted. That was terrible dispersion, considering how much accuracy we currently have. But yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not quite over if we shoot him and kill him. But it's pretty close. You damaged my ship! You feed! Dead GK. Bonk. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to kill this Conqueror in time. We get one more shot at it, and we do get a plane. So if we can get a good shot into superstructure, there is a chance that we kill this guy. We just need to do it very soon and get a Kraken. Come on. No! No! <laughs> Oh, we got robbed of the quacket. The quacket. We got robbed. 224k, though. We'll take it. That was a great way to end the game, or end the stream, man. 85 targets hit. 224,000 damage. Never took a damn bit of damage until the last two salvos from the, the Conqueror. Like, legitimately. And we were at the front the whole time. Two death strikes. One on a completely oblivious guy that had no idea that I was shooting in the direction. Like, I had no idea he even existed. <laughs> Colbert's bottom of the team. Shocker. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy's like, well, what the fuck just hit me? I'd be so pissed if I was him. I've never been deleted like that, but I would be so fucking pissed. But 3,200 base XP game too. Um, yeah, GG's guys. GG's. And thank you guys again for 20 million views. Could have done it without you guys. Remember that. Like literally could not have done it without you guys. So thank each and every one of you guys for hanging in there. Also, Mr. Fox, thank you for another $20 bomb. 20 gifted membership. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate you. Uh, somebody asked about my stats in the constellation earlier. Let me show that real quick. Uh, that's the wrong button. I want to show the constellations. Uh, best game that I've ever had in it. I want to say it's like 170 or something like that. I could be wrong. 185. 185 is my best game in the Constellation. I have a 75% win rate in that ship. I should tell you, it's a good ship. I highly recommend. So, uh, yeah, not, not bad. Not too shabby. Uh, how'd we do tonight? I feel like we had a pretty solid outing. We had a couple losses in there, sure, but I think we had a pretty good outing. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 and 1... Two, three, four. Ten and four. Not bad. So, like, 60 to 70% win rate. Shocker. Mr. Musta, thank you so much. Fresh Potato, good to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the stream as much as I did. Thank you again for all of your generosity. You guys are crazy. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Also... Don't forget, Saturday night, I will be streaming the U-Boats again. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow night for uh, U-Boats. Sunday night is my UAD stream. So make sure you guys check that out Sunday night. And have a great weekend, everybody.